But you cannot be delusional enough for then tell me, say, you know, think me have no sex at all. Just because you can't have none. Like, you is a madman. If your penis small, sir, me, I go tell you this now. Feel my name with the panel life. If your penis small, get comfortable with toys. Buy them. You be the one for buy them. Nobody go on like, you know, notice. You have to fucking notice. You must have bound and compound notice. You never did then. You're nobody in a locker room, no, no bathroom, no, no way. You have no sibling. You don't have no cousin. You don't have no friend. You never manage to see a next man dick for see and say, look. You genuinely feel say every man stay so and you hear the matter about who for dick bigger and anaconda. You think, you think what you have would be representative of that? You have, you have to know say it's small. And nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it being small. You have one micro penis, and that you have. And, and you make yourself. You need ask for that. But now that you have it, be realistic about it. No act like something wrong with me because my one sitting where you can't give me. Don't. Battery and USB penis never feel me yet, but I can assure you I've climbed many a mountains. I was out of breath, nor did I bust a sweat. Ease out, sir. <laughs> this is a Look here, no man. Look here, man. No play with me. I'm a very nice. I'm a very nice person. I'm a realistic. I'm a thing, say, I'm a balanced. I feel like, as much as me, me sound like me oversexed, I am not. And especially as me grow older, me, me the plan for that shout and be one skittle bomb. And it now work out because, first of all, I don't want to go to bed. And I don't want, I don't really want, I don't want to joke, 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 joke. Like, me, 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 I know a cactus, so I don't think I turn out for me. I want conversation, I want watch something stimulating together and I want to talk. So, one micro penis can fit. No pun intended. <laughs> but when you come in with a strong talk, with the, the big dick energy, <laughs> not it. Me all right with the toys and my body big and firm. The toys are an enhancement. I mean, it's can, it can only help them to the Lulu. Boy, it's small, but lady said, they make a lady then stop the lie. You know, make them trick you. Don't make them make you go there and act like an idiot. And then if your penis small, no give on. You don't need to be dissatisfied, 40 limiting woman. Just go home and go work for your one girl. And you and her try to find out how you can find some ways for make up for what you lack. It's okay. You're not if you can do everything. Because to be honest with you, some of them big dick man there out there, that, that's all they have. And the truth is, no, no, we not try to settle down with so, so that we want way more than that. So you probably a lead and they even know because you're so fucking delusional. Come out of your little bubble and have one real conversation and understand that life is not all about that. I know that that's not the ear all end all be all. That I know everything where life entail. Like me, me know exactly what I want. Me know what I want. And me know say it not centered around one penis. Me know say it they up your so. Me know say. Your brain have far more value to me. Far more value. Like maybe, maybe check me back down when I did much younger and have time to kill that energy for waste. Then yes. But up here, so up more mature way. Me really no one me really no one have that. Me no one have that delusional relationship there with nobody where you out there so now. You expect me to endorse your road when you make big dick talk. Me not got it. Just don't make none. Tanya, do you like it sweet and short distance or sweet and marathon distance? We ask them sitting far for me, you know, joke with all that really refund to it all I mean, I want to discuss that with you. Worse than when they, you know the words are when they exaggerate the size and the performance, you're underperforming in every aspect. Like, all right. First of all, no, 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 give me no, 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 give me no kind of recommendation for yourself. Because even when we meet him, we see for myself, you know, need to tell me what I come. Just talk to me like a normal human being. And then let me decide for myself. Let me decide for myself. And, and don't make that be the center, the nucleus of everything. Because if you do, then me, I go expect it to be exceptional. And then when it is not, me, I go disappointed. Don't make it be the center of everything. Like, like, like don't, don't base your entire existence by needing to live up to one hyper-masculine stereotype. You're not happy. 
you don't have to like me no me really no one juke 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 all the time but when you come out yourself with the big big energy honestly me expect to see big big I mean sue me or me around but if you just be a normal person whatever the fuck you come with me I go be like alright that way I work with me because what we can do you know if it's a niggle you have men know say me I go do some embroidery <laughs> You know, well, we're going to do some needle point. And make a girl handy, you know. Very handy. I'm a DIYer. I can do that. I will get to tatting. I will get to crochet. And I will get to if, I, if it's a needle. I work. But when you you make me feel like, say, I come with some big concrete screw and nail and them something. And me come out with my hammer. And me come with my drill. And then me realize, it shouldn't have nothing to fit when me come with. Don't do me that. Been playing your songs like crazy for about two weeks now. Your song them hard. My favorite one is. Your favorite one is what? Willie. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Oh man, my left him and them alone. I can't love some me bash them, and I don't. You know? I don't. I don't think so. What me do a bash man? I have that stigma there where decades. Say me eight man, I'm a bash man. Poor me. All me ever do, I try to tell them how they can do things different and better to make it work. And here is me out there, so. How weird that the name of eight them. At the first thing, pan, some of them raise me. One day tell me him way, we want to paint me like the Sistine Chapel. Me tell him, spell Michelangelo. <laughs> Why? <Whoa. laughs> he want to paint you like the Sistine Chapel. But in I tell him I tell you indirectly still in us why he really have is a brush. Me thirteen Turks and Caicos, yes. Me thirteen this weekend, Turks and Caicos. Yes. You send me return information to share on it. Let's talk about that. You learn enough from me. Well, at least you're open to learning. Most man most man are really alright, you know say. Man, I really listen to it. Man, just one who said, damn satisfied, and that is it. And then they look upon you like you do something wrong. Like, we need stimulation too. And and most Jamaican men are really willing for, to invest no effort in a way at all. Um, they're more about bragging to other men. Even if they don't verbally brag to other man, them performance is about um, other man. I measure it up and want to know that they are the best and they want to tell them that. And me not lie. Me not lie. Um, and me not want no man to try to make me into a liar. Especially not necessary. Because you know, every single person have have one custom, every every single couple have one custom experience what can be the best thing for them. But you have to actually be invested in that. You have to be interested in that. You have to want that. But some man know them just, they might, they might work off of the playbook of other man. Like, sir, if you have one inch and a half inch, you can work off of the playbook of a man with one six inch. Because you can't do the same thing that my Hindu is like. It, this is like shot to work up a shades. Him, him can pound and pound and pound all day because shot have one big big dick. But shot can shoot the hoops. In shot, then see him shot it. You understand? You have to work with what you have. You have to work with what you have. So everybody playbook now work for everybody else. And we know the best thing you do is just not come in a playbook and just come as a blank slate and learn and be like, what you like? Simple beginning of a conversation. What do you like? Because me want to know what you like, so me can do what you like. But then when you're running and you just be like, ah, generic. Like, okay, that's what you do. Okay, cool. The rest of generic too. Ah. Uh, Listening is good. No self-praise. That is why I'm okay in my performance level. 
I would not have enough for self. Women teach me and learning is good. I would encourage younger youths to explore with big mature women. No, don't do that. No, the bag will come off with the art of war. Oh, Jesus. The art of war. Um, me not, I me not advise younger youth to experiment with big women because some of that borderline pedophile. pedophile. Um, so no, 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 push that. No push that. Um, me think so people for be equally yoked emotionally and experientially as far as exposure to life. Me not, me, me not feel like no, there should be a power imbalance and quote out 48 laws of power till you're sick. Yeah, don't be afraid to ask sensible questions and take instructions, please. Nobody should. Listen, Jerry and niece, you're not sick of it. You're not sick of it yet. This is my next YouTube video. <laughs> okay. You're not sick of it yet. Honestly, um, me get, me, me, me happy seven days that they're behind me. Where me not really, me not out there. I'm not out there. Um, me think me, I can't say it safely, them days are firmly behind me. I have no interest to go back in them. I like, can't say it as a joke. Oh, I could be on flaming schedule. But I'm not going to do that. I don't do that. I don't want to encounter. I don't want to encounter them. Don't want to encounter them. When, me, when me lie down and look on the ceiling and I wonder what the fuck I do with my life. I don't want to have them kind of encounter no more. Where I puff up in chest. I may look upon him like me. I just one step more up to me. No I have that. It, it's painful. Um, in a suit, no no with purpose. It no in a fulfilling, in a no way. It's like me just I get body count for nothing. And then them ego stand up like such because them feel like them are the post pyjama. But so my woman them you've been screen recording me. To what end? Some of the women them, can someone tell me how to let someone down easy? I really want to be blunt, but I don't want to hurt his feelings. Lord Jesus. When I say young youths, middle 20s, I don't not talk teenagers. But even so, middle 20s are kids now. And I would say, I don't suggest middle 20s. Honestly, full disclosure, I have messed around with People that are in twenties and it wrong. Um, me never know what age. Me ne, me ne know what me know. I say adult because me see what job they occupy, and it, uh, me I said they in plural, but me I talk about one particular person, and it was so wrong, and it turned out to be even wronger when me cut. Because person kind of exploded, and the the youth just jumped out, and it's like what the fuck is this and it was just mess mess like it wrong um i i feel like i did something wrong because even though i want adult i want juvenile adult oh and it is just wrong I don't know how for me don't know how for word that no other way except like cringe. Cringe. Like it's not about physical compatibility, it's about being being equal as far as as far as experience and exposure, as far as maturity. Yes. Two different maturity levels and 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 I can't blame them for their acting out because I want child um so 20 years is not ugh, 20 years no good enough yeah experience and it not exp not sexual experience no life experience life experience the the kind of exposure the kind of erosion what will make you know say if you sit the fuck down and shut the fuck up? The kind of the kind of experience that says something is going wrong 
let me not further exacerbate it. Let me just stop where I am before we get no further behind. But you know, young people have that kind of energy the way you just don't know how to chill. We have to come back and throw in two more words. I have to just I have to come back and... And, yeah. Mm -mm, me not recommend it. And then the old man, them no better. <laughs> the old man, them no better because my age... <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. My, so far, my age, people delusional. My age. And above. Me, me did the pound dating site and me meet one guy and he have himself listed as 46. Me take one look on the picture and me bust out a laugh. Me know him at least 56. But me say, chow, me humor him. Because I don't like me I propose to get married. But I talk to him, talk to him, chat to him, chat to him. And he say, um, by the way, he man know 46. I'm like, you kidding. Yeah, no, me really enough. Fuck. Like, who the fuck doesn't know that? You don't look like fuck. Stop it, man. You're in your 50s. <sighs> Tiring, you know? Tiring. Tiring. I can tell you one thing. How oh, am I, Cody Reynolds? I'm fine. I am fine. How are you? The one thing I can tell you. There is no, there is no social group who have a monopoly on immaturity or stupidity. Because as much as you hear me tell you the 20s, I'm not advise it for nobody over 40, for, for, for date in a dark pool. Um... The reality is, the older one them, they're immature too. Most of them never ever did grow up. Them more exposed to much more off life. Some of them them successful commercially, but then suck shit emotionally. Um, terrible, terrible stuff and lie. Oh my God, old man lie a fuck. Old man lie. Oh men oh, <laughs> dating pool is suffocating. I can't navigate the delusions and the lack of emotional ex emotional intelligence. Girl, welcome to my club. Older men lie. A lot. A lot. And 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 the truth is, I think maybe because they're older. Maybe because they're older and them them reflexes I start deteriorate because most of them they don't really work at keeping them then with sharp they don't work they don't feel like they're not investing in nothing except monetary things so it's like they lie but they're not they're not smart enough like they're not sharp enough to lie with any sense i'm gonna find myself I find myself already there besides somebody and then tell one blatant lie and me just bust out a ball like, what may I do with my life? What may I do with my life? And get up and go up, go about my business. Which young youth so lucky and threw it away like he got my childhood crush and threw it away and... I thought you chatting on my ears and I was speaking the truth. It's not hard enough. I don't know why people find it hard. Just be yourself and be truthful. Them couldn't tell the truth to see if they like. Uh, Lara, I'm if you tell you, my Jesus have mercy. And they lie for the silliest reason. You, you know, one of the worst things, me, me think one of the worst things me ever come across is man will lie to me. Me if not ask you for nothing, brother. You lie to me for. Me not ask for nothing. Me not need nothing from you. Me no want nothing from you. For the most part, me, me hardly book nobody when me actually want the run all the time. Like, in the longest while, me only book once by the way, me want the run all the time. So, for any man else lie, then the man there is a liar. For real. Why would I even do that? So, I kind of keep myself to myself. Me, honestly, me just me take on myself because uh, not worth it. I don't think so. Me, and a very few old men have stamina can joke you. So, I don't like you do it for you joking. Take longer for your penis stand up, stay up. 
shorter. Um, they take a lot more effort. Because most of them unfit. And this is not me dissing them. This is just observation. And. Oh God. You know, you know, you know, it, it, it not worth it. You know, worth it for, for I'm very diminished. Um, piece of satisfaction for um, one lesser experience. You know, worth it. You know, worth it at all. And me know say, me know so we socialize for one forget married and settled down and a. This nuclear family, which I think by now we should have shattered that and realized it don't work for everybody. But man, we say, um, them comfortable with open relationships. Them open, them comfortable with open relationship because them don't want one, one, one lockdown thing neither until they realize you mean it and then all hell break loose and they can't bother. See why me Timmy Fred and Alex will always par them honest and don't go limp and them no figure them draw when we don't. <laughs> I tell them, stop ask me about a personal, a, a private personal question, an intimate question. They've not something that's only relevant if we actually engage. Um, we are talking about general things. We could just stay with general things. Me not give one playbook for of me. I'm not out there. Um, me not, me, me think that me, I think it's a casual joke in this day over. I don't really see myself. I do that. I don't really just not joke at all. You know where it is. I can easily see myself not joke and be comfortable. I have enough accomplishments. I make me feel ecstatic. When we make music, I feel just as, just as elated. As when we make love, so me no feel like me this. And, and if me badly need a physical companionship, there are many people who are willing um to help. So me no shout at that, and me no see me no see it work like. Imagine them have enough work to do. Let's just say. Man, I have enough for a few. I feel subdued. I think I time for come back. Now, what time? A long time. I don't want to see me. Blood bleed. It's been a long time. I should have left it. If I believe in a poly relationship, believe in a. Do you mean by belief? As if as, as I think it exists. Poly relationships are real. Why wouldn't I believe in them? Are you saying, would I subscribe to them? Come. Why pray? Jaja, yeah, yeah. give me back. I'm going to listen out for him and see if he come by when. But you have a you know, thing. But, may I see? Sure. Yeah, listen. If you if me asleep, just tap me on my shoulder. No matter what I'm doing. No, I'm going to You try to make some sound for me. Me have a heart attack and then me give me a wake up and can kill you. <laughs> I think the hardest thing is that a lot of women have passed the casual phase and are not okay being by themselves and with themselves. Shameful said it best, me not shot a man, you better treat me right. <laughs> yeah, it, you know, you know, one of the worst things about it too is when people try to make you feel bad about something you're not interested in. Like, like somebody say, would I subscribe to them? Miss one say, like when somebody say, "Oh, I do you not have no man?" Like, I do me now. You know, like when they wave around something like it's supposed to be, um, it's supposed to be something when we can feel jealous, so you not have it. Like, for, so let me show you now. When it comes to couples, me love to sit and chin and win Marshall together because me think them two people are fit. The two of them are the same brand of madness. They belong together. Me love to see Sasko and Nicole together. Me think them fit. The two of them level of ambition match each other. The two of them seem like they're extremely driven. Me, me exhausted to watch them um, move. Because them seem like them just keep going. 
Me love for see Licia and her husband together. Same. Them two, them two people that seem like them fit. And it, it peop, them couple they inspire me for different reasons. I'm very inspired by, by Win Marshall and Sasko because them, them break stereotype. The stereotype of a dancehall male or of somebody in the Jamaican music industry is that, that them very promiscuous and never ever circle down. I don't know about these men's um, private life, but I do know that them, them people's relationship is not a secret. It's not a private thing. Them, them very clear about which part they stand. Them are family people. They, they not just have one trophy wife where they might show off, they might do couple things. They might do family building things with kids. Right? And I really, really respect and admire them. I know something where me want for myself, but I something where I really respect and appreciate and admire with them. I love to see Lisa Gay. Lisa. I always pronounce your name, but forgive me. Lisa. Right? Lisa. And Although our husband did things say me anymore because he said he may appear fire me born in the show and whatnot. I'm a favorite people them and I love them God to bed. I me just love to see them together. Again, the family unit. The example of family unit. Me never hear them burn out no kind of family yet. But you know what? The fact that them present and represent one family way desirable. To me, are the best thing that you can do for the family. Is for sure that it works. And so I love them. I do love them. I love to see them. I look for them posts. I'm inspired by them. I get goosebumps. I watch some of the things when them kids when them kids grow and outperform themselves. I feel involved in a very, very limited way. Like me not me not me not feel no kind of entitlement in their life. I will never ask why you do that, why you don't do that? Never. Me just admire them from a distance. Oh, yeah, me, we don't tell me two idiots, you know. I'm telling them right, you know, like, <laughs> no other idiot, no, they could have matched it to one, you know. Me never really know, say, so tell me full fool. I mean, you know, say, so we ain't full fool neither. It two of them full fool just the right amount <laughs> to fit perfectly with each other. Them two people belong. All of them people may talk about belong, you know. I'm happy if this is a way of representation of that in our industry, you know. It's been sold to us for very long that we, we don't have things like that. I'm going to big them up. I love them for that. So we have family representation in our industry. Now, there are many different kinds of family. This is one, right? And I love it. I love to see them together. They look comfortable and happy. They don't look contrived. They don't look like they write no script. They're very unscripted. Them people look like they just actually stay. And they look like they're still a frig. Because you can look on some couple and tell say, them two they not touch one another with a long stick unless it's a kettle prod. Because they don't like each other. You can look on people and see that. Them body language tell you. <laughs> the way they interact with each other tell you. But them three couple women mention. Them joking. <laughs> they are joking. Yeah. I like that for them. I really appreciate that for them. You know, the same breath, there are many different types of people who want different types of lives. And everybody wants that, the family model. And it's okay if we have the other kinds of lives too. So, if we reach to 50 and realize, say, one visiting relationship work perfect for me, that's fine. We don't have to model off of each other. If you want a model to follow, when it comes to a nuclear family, then those are perfect examples. Follow them. But I know something we're supposed to prescribe or mandate for everybody. Mm -mm. People feel happy in their own life, in their own skin. People feel do what make them happy. You know? People supposed to do what make, makes them happy. So, many things that me, me really I got happy out of the road that show. I begin to realize now, so maybe not. Maybe me I got happy just there in bed. Like I don't watch two Hallmark movies and make a piece of chocolate and and me know me not for it. I'm not supposed to eat no sugar right now. Me dey put a me know a nice little groove, you know. Me not drink no alcohol and me I eat fairly good. Me I eat fruits, 
the first part of the day. Sometimes I just want soup or eat. Me, not, me eat according to my body. Ask for me not really force nothing upon it. I mean, I overeat. I me feel nice. Feel real nice. Me not want good looking place. But me go lay down and me go watch. Could I show you a name? And just like that, oh God, me love it. Well, thank you very much. But Janan, you look good. You look good. Listen. Me fall, me fall in love with the spin-off of Sex and the City. Me not even used to watch Sex and the City. And now me lie down and watch and just like that. I love it. So real. Same, I am inspired by those couples too. I am not jealous of them. But if I am blessed to have something similar to them, I would be grateful. If not, though, I'm also okay with not having that. And the truth is that, you know, if you understand the power of attraction, if you understand the law of attraction, you know that you, it, you can look at them Oh, monk I'm a boy, Karen. You can look at them and respect and admire them and be open to receiving what is perfect for you. The, the, the truth is, if you you just need to work on getting yourself in touch with getting in touch with yourself, finding out who you really are. What is it that makes you happy? Because remember, you know. Think about it. If I attract you, I attract somebody. You, you know what? Attract somebody we're attracted to something where you pretend to be. Just work on being yourself. Work on finding out who you be first and foremost. Know what you comfortable with. Me know what me comfortable with. Me know what... I want to put that back there. I need to take you off. I need to tell you something. You know, see this thing there? I look, I look in there. I see it. I know what I'm comfortable with. That's how I make me can reach a point, you know, when I know, say. The little schedule bomb thing when I did plan for doing not going to really work. It's not going to work. Because, first of all, I can't stand most of them, more, them man out there. Can't stand them. Then just, ah. Uh, they not develop. The only thing they might develop are them portfolio. They might develop commercially, but they're not developing emotionally, and psychologically, mentally. They're not develop. Them, most of them not even seeing them delusional. I mean, I feel like more I don't raise nobody's son. I mean, I want to raise nobody's son. So, I mean, I crave none of that. I mean, I crave a string, a succession of crazy man. I pass through me like, I mean, I crave that at all. I want somebody with equal, with, with equal nonsense. I can't do the straight and stiff. <laughs> You, you don't have to worry about that. I'm going to when I'm going to you. Because you're a very fool, fool. And if me can tell that friend just fun live alone, then come on. <laughs> it's nice when you can find someone who can understand you and wants the same things you want and you can. Yes. Karen, first of all, you want to sell too, idiot. Or, uh, if you don't know, I'm, I feel offended now and may apologize for your offense. But to not too, idiot. It turn out, I watch you know, I giggle like two little picnic together, do the same shit. And me never know say I say a mischievous who go on. By the way, Karen is a singer and Salah her husband is a drummer. Go on the road together and I watch me want me, me not watch you know like like people, you know, but me observe. When well, we not see him, so it's watching no body language. We're not actually friend. We're not actually a friend. Me see say every foolishness we him up to. And me, I be like, Karen, you see where my mother is, so you give me, she say you are giggling and back him with the fuckery. And me, she say you are, you are fuckery. And me, she say my back you with the fuckery. And me like that phone. Me love that phone. Me think, say, me think you know actually a friend. Me think you know a joke still. Me always look on people for try to see who's still a joke. Because the moment you know not a joke, you know. <laughs> the relationship there, kind of dead. It kind of dead. Like, you know, just have a, you no, know, just have a business. Because if you know, still have the contract on it sign, we're keeping it together. And you know, have some products in you know, the form of kids and maybe business on work together. I just want business you know, have now. Because if you're not personally connected no more, if you're not laugh together, you know, not do nothing together, you're not joke, what's the point? Like, I'm something I'm afraid of too, you know. Like, being, having come through my, 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 my first and only divorce, I mean, I not believe in a divorce. Um, which is why I think I don't believe in a marriage because like if I never married, I couldn't divorce. Divorce is just a failure. I'm a hate it. Um, 
not that mega stain us with when our work just for not be divorced but it's it i don't mean thing feeling not no become me um but me like to see people who actually say them do it and get it right and me can actually appreciate that for you without me having or wanting it myself um maybe me a coward <laughs> maybe me a coward and i'm comfortable being a coward because me, so there are some losses when I'm willing for risk because of greater gains, but the gain I mean I mean I want it enough for risk the failure of it. I'm comfortable with that. I'm realizing I'm comfortable with having one company where I can look forward to sometimes and then watching my little Hallmark movie by myself because there is no man where I go lie down and watch Hallmark movie with me every night. <laughs> I know that movie I watch every night. Um your guide back mark. Look here. I did look on the time already. Yeah, after nine. And I've been here for a while. And I feel very subdued. Very calm. So I know some bedtime draws nigh. And I should be getting on now to my and just like that. If you know watch it, maybe next time when we chat you know, tell me what you think about it. Come and love me never know something could I learn for love. A curry bread shot or something there. But I'm not going to dress up in no clothes and go for no premiere or nothing like that. But I really love to lie down and watch it. It's very real. And then tackle everything in there. You know, death of spouse. All, all the all the aging woman things. And it very, you look. Oh, you love these chats. I think that's the love issue. I don't ask you about it. Like, what do you think? Anyways, I'm going to go to my bed. I'm appreciating the company very, very, very much. Um, I hope you guys have a good night. I hope you get some deep, deep sleep. Deep sleep. I hope you get rest. I'm going to hope you wake up refreshed and ready for take on a day. I hope you're not going to bed with animosity, stress. I hope you're not going to bed with any kind of negative emotion plaguing you. Hopefully you did resolve that before you are crawling to your bed. Because it's really important for your body only have the business of maintaining your body for dealing with and not having all the other stuff that's piled on to you. It's really important. Drink enough water, get it off rest. Love. Love enough. Try to get some hugs. Oh, hugs are therapeutic. And if you hug somebody, remember, you'll get back a hug in exchange. So give hugs generously. And we'll see you tomorrow. All right? Enough love. Enjoy your night.